I'm sitting in my car because I just needed to. I just needed to say what I needed to say. I have been literally, I think, in the last couple of weeks, I have been on this almost obsession over un uncovering the truth. I mean, I've known this for a while that the media will have fake news on both sides, both whether you're talking about Fox or you're talking about CNN or whatever. And I've always kind of questioned the media, but I will admit that, you know, I'm kind of complacent. I'm a complacent African-American. I see myself as African-American. That's another topic we could talk about, but anyway, African-American woman and I just was told all my life that my family and we're Democrats when um, for years for years up until literally last year maybe I literally just called my grandmother when it was time to exercise my voting right, and I would say, Grandma, can I go vote today? Who am I voting for? And she'd tell me who to vote for. And I'd walk my happy butt down there and, and I vote. Because I didn't take the time, nor did I have the interest, to really know who and what I was going to go vote for. I just believed my grandmother. I just believed what she said. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, believing what your parents and your family members say, I guess, when you're a child, you know? Um, but when you become an adult and you, you go to learn how to, you know, be a critical thinker in school, at least I hope you are learning that, and then you don't apply that to your life, you become part of the problem. And I have been part of the problem. I have been part of the, my, the, the, my problems. I have been part of the problems that I'm upset about because I have systematically continued to vote for the Democratic Party just because my grandmother told me to, just because I'm black or consider myself black. That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to believe everything the Democrats say. I'm supposed to believe everyone else who is a Democrat and what they're saying. And lately, I have been having a real issue with what even people on my timeline are saying. Just, if you were to just look at my timeline, I now understand why people might want to commit suicide especially a person of color, it sounds like, you know, the cops around every corner ready to shoot me for doing nothing that a white person is ready to call the cops on me, which, I mean, they, they are doing. And don't get me wrong. There are racist people in this world. There's a racist person on every freaking corner. I, like, whether I know that or not, they've got racism somewhere in them. I mean... Is that really going to end? And did that end when Obama was in office? And then all of a sudden it just, oh, comes back because Trump is in office? No, these people have always been there. And I believe that these people will always still be there, no matter who's in office. But I, I'm just, I'm a little upset with myself, actually. I'm just upset with myself that I allowed, I allowed myself to be manipulated by not only the media, not only the Republican and mainly the Democratic Party, but even like my, my, my Facebook timeline, the people I chose to follow. I don't know if anybody covered, you know, watches The Matrix, but your girl, I took the red pill and I unplugged myself.
Perhaps you should too.